Nick, thanks for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for having us. I think the last time you sat down with Seed World was at ISF in mm-hmm. Krakow, Poland, with my colleague Julie in, back in 2014. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of water under the bridge since then. Can you give me a little bit of an update? Where are things at with the deposit seed treatment plan as it stands right now? Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. So, May 2014, we were very early in our journey. In fact, we started late 2013. So, we've made a lot of great progress in the past two and a half years. Uh, to remind you, our vision is really focused on developing and providing advanced seed applied technologies to improve grower productivity. And we have several examples of products that have now entered the market since we spoke with Julie a couple of years ago. Uh, we focus on the market-driven science, so that's leveraging the customer insights that we have, connecting those to the research and development engine to make sure we bring good products to the marketplace. Uh, we focus on collaborations, both with te- technology providers and other seed companies. And finally, we focus on bringing those products together in a unique technique of assembly. And we've been able to successfully do that in several instances. So we've grown our business in Brazil with Dermacore, both in soybeans and corn. Uh, since 2014, we've launched Lumavia in Canada on corn. We've continued to expand the footprint for Lumiderm on canola in Canada. And most recently, in fact, just yesterday, we announced the registration of Lumisena for use on soybeans and sunflowers. So that, that was actually going to be my next question. I understand that a registration is eminent for Lumisena, so that's a, that's a go. So we received the EPA registration last week. We're still awaiting some of the state-by-state registrations, but we're very excited about Lumisena. Uh, Lumisena will be the first fungicide in the DuPont seed treatment portfolio, and we believe it brings game-changing protection against Phytophthora and soybeans, as well as downy mildew and sunflowers and corn. Uni- one of the unique things about Lumisena is not only the seed protection, but the seed lean protection. So we're confident that customers are going to see the impact of Lumisena, not only from a disease perspective, but also in that overall early stage seed lean uh, and, and vigor. Seed treatments are a hot topic. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't mm-hmm. need to tell you that. Mm-hmm. Why? So I, there, I got a few questions about this mm-hmm. topic, and I'm going to start with R&D. So why are we seeing mm-hmm. such a, a large investment mm-hmm. and participation in the seed treatment category? Well, I think it starts with the customer. And if you uh, spend some time on the floor, you see the amount of technology that continues to become available. Uh, we heard about several emerging technologies in some of the workshops yesterday. So it starts with the customer and that overall seed investment. And we're, you know, we're excited about seed treatment. Um, and, and part of that excitement goes back to our seed heritage. So if you think about the 90 years of seed heritage with Pioneer, we've seen tremendous advancements in the value that comes out of that seed decision and the technology that's provided, both from a genetics perspective, but also now the inclusion of traits. And so as the performance continues to increase and the customer expectations continue to increase, seed treatments are a great tool to complement the genetics, complement the traits, perhaps expand the per, uh, the spectrum of protection that some customers are getting from traits, and they're a very uh, accurate and environmentally friendly way to solve customer problems. Right. You're talking about milligrams uh, of, of active ingredient on the seed rather than pounds across the entire acreage. Yeah, well said. The, the I think the we continue to load the seed, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is great, mm-hmm. perfect place mm-hmm. to get it to. Mm-hmm. Do you see any concerns in there? Any things, places where we have to just be be cautious of? Well, there are probably more good ideas of technology that can go onto the seed than there is space to put it onto the seed. So it is a challenge, Sean, as you as you mentioned. Uh, one of the characteristics that we evaluate uh, with a significant amount of rigor when we advance technologies is the overall seed loading. So what can that seed physically handle? Are those products compatible? Um, and then making sure that once that product is onto the seed, it goes through a farmer's planter the way they expect. One area that we've invested in heavily is with our global DuPont Integrated Seed Science Network. And Sean, one of the purposes of that network is to really solve the problem you just described. Making sure we have industry leading formulations, making sure we have compatibility with the other products going on to the seed, making sure the application through seed plants and through uh, downstream treaters is professional and is stewarded, and then making sure that final seed product that the customer purchases when he's thinking about genetics traits and treatments flows through their planter in a way that they expect. 
right? <clears throat> Absolutely. That, and then, so the next side to this is the environmental side. And, mm-hmm. and those of us in the seed industry are obviously keeping a very close eye on, on all these, on, on that aspect of, of mm-hmm. seed treatment. Mm-hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the most recent science mm-hmm. and how that impacts on your business? Mm-hmm. Uh, specifically to the environmental issues in general? Yeah. or yeah, And maybe even more specifically mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. pollinators. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good question, Sean. So, first of all, we have uh, what we feel is one of the uh, industry-leading late-stage development and testing programs, and we are able to work closely with the Pioneer Agronomy Sciences team to validate technologies before they're launched across a wide range of geographies, multiple genetic packages, and and understand that data in a very uh, very rigorous way. And we've been able to utilize that data um, with the industry as we've gone through some of the recent conversations. So from a pollinator health perspective, certainly um, it's something that's important to us. Uh, Pollinators are important to agriculture and it's important that we're utilizing products according to their labeled use and labeled direction. What we've been able to do um, is work with others in the industry, working with CropLife. Uh, We're a founding member of the Keystone Coalition uh, to be a part of that conversation. And one of the things we've been able to contribute to that conversation has been the data the data to support the technology and to support the benefit that the technology brings to corn and soybean farmers across the United States. In addition, Sean, we have uh, worked with some of the regulatory agencies and hosted them in our DuPont Integrated Seed Science Center so that they understand the steps that are taken to ensure that we are treating seed that has low dust on the seed to start with, that we're using uh, polymer recommendations and that we're continuing to apply the treatments in a way uh, that meets the standards and exceeds uh, the standards that are in place. I just want to briefly go back to Lumicina for a mm-hmm. minute. Mm-hmm. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, that's a rigorous process that you folks mm-hmm. have just gone through mm-hmm. to get that registration. Mm-hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that process and, and maybe some of the pieces you've learned going down that path again? Yeah, uh, so I think Alex will get into the detail around the process, but it's a multi-year process. Um, it requires a significant investment um, and, and some of the things that we um, have done as we brought that product forward is first of all understand how that product works by itself. What does that product contribute incrementally to the other products that are on to the seed? Once we understand that then we're able to start to test and select Lumicina in the context of a complete package for the customer. We're able then to select the best products that complement Lumicina uh, for our customers and finally then we're able to start um, demonstrating that on a large large scale system and we can look at that then with multiple genetic packages and understand when that customer invests in a soybean seed for example uh, what can we put together to ensure that they get the highest return on that investment that's the treatment that's the treatments that complement Lumisena that's also then uh, their genetics selection perfect Mick thanks again for sitting down with me appreciate it thank you Sean